Hi, my name is Emma Milden, but that, in fact, is not my real name. When I was a child, I was fostered and adopted, brought into a loving and caring family, and given the name Emma. Turns out they could not have given me a more fitting name. Emma in German means mother of all, and today I am an author and columnist who provides a home for any child experienced abandonment in any capacity, tying the links between abandonment and abundance. My name is Emma Milden, mother of all, and this is my story. Everybody in this world will experience a soul search mission, whether it's sparked from a midlife crisis or whether it's stemmed from a root, like myself, of abandonment, whether it's through adoption, fostering, orphan, divorce, a breakup, midlife crisis, um, we all are given a chance to seek where we belong. And the number one thing that I want to tell people is that you do not need to know your family history in order to make history. I can still remember the day that I began to research abandonment um, and the effects that it had on people that had been um, adopted or fostered. I was at one of my many sources of therapy. I was at the hairdressers. And I was lined up with all the other hens, um, listening to all the local gossip, and a woman came down and sat next to me. And there was no coincidence why she had chosen me to sit next to, because the problem that she needed advice on that day was how to tell her daughter that her daughter was in fact adopted. Um, pretty big thing to tell someone. Her daughter was 18, um, it was coming up to her birthday, and she felt like it was approaching a now or never situation in terms of telling her daughter the truth about her roots and where she comes from. I went home that day from the hairdressers and sat down with a coffee and by coincidence picked up a magazine that was all about the life of Marilyn Monroe and ended up slamming the magazine closed, putting it down in front of me, taking a big sip of my coffee and thinking spooky because the article was all about Marilyn Monroe's journey through abandonment and how her fostering and upbringing and her ongoing issues with abandonment had really destroyed her life and career. And I sat there sipping my coffee thinking, wow, this was one of the most beautiful, loving, um, childish women of our time. You know, she really is an icon. And here she is starting her journey through abandonment. And I thought about the girl that later on today was going to get told that she was adopted and I thought about my journey and being adopted and my ongoing issues with abandonment and so by the time I had finished my whole coffee I had googled every celebrity I could think of and learned about all these amazing humanitarians that had began their life with abandonment. And the more research I did, the more abandoned children I unearthed. And they weren't just any children. They were the Steve Jobs of the world. John Lennon, Martin Luther King, Einstein, Wayne Dyer, Marilyn Monroe. These were people that had gone on to change the world. These were abandoned children who had been given a gift. That day I started my research, I came across one of the most inspiring quotes I've still read to this day and it affects all of my words that I write for abandoned children. It was written by an abandoned child himself, an abandoned genius, Albert Einstein, and he wrote, there are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, the other is as though everything is. And I believe that every abandoned child, whether it through divorce, adoption, Foster, orphan, grievance, anyone who's just happened to be left behind is a miracle. Their journey of abandonment holds key to their success and that there is no coincidence that you can be abandoned and end up abundant.